Charlie! I left dozens of messages. Four months behind the rent and you're ducking my call. And you know I hate coming to this neighborhood. I feel like I need a tetanus shot in this zip code. I'm sorry, I'm really trying, Mr. Walsh. Charlie, you know why I don't care? Well, I'll tell you why I don't care. Because you're four months behind in the rent! I knew I'm a little behind, but I plan to make it up. Baseball season is about to start. Profits are bound to go up. Spare me, Charlie. Please just spare me. It's the same story over and over again. Wait, there's got to be another way. I've run this store for 30 years. Please, maybe there's something you can do. Charlie, I am not running a charity here. No rent, no store. Charlie, look at me. You've got to live in reality. You see, you are a terrible businessman. You got one week? There must be something we can do. I've looked everywhere, we just don't have the money. I guess we have no choice. I'm gonna have to close the store. But you love running that store. Listen, we can't give up without a fight. It's my fault. If I hadn't given so many people discounts over the years, maybe we would have turned a profit. We'd still be in business. You have always had a big, kind and generous heart. That's why I fell in love with you. <laughs> Yeah, and look who it got us. Broken out of business. Living like this, I don't know, Ruby. You deserve so much better, and I failed you. Failed me? You didn't fail me. Listen, there is no one better in this world for me than you. Mm. And besides, you know how I always say, the kindness that you put out in this world, it always comes back to you. Trust me. It's coming back. <laughs> I don't think kindness is going to be enough to fix this. Not this time. We will find our way. We always do. We always do. Oh, man. It's been a long time since I've been in here. Well, take a long look around. It's the last you're going to see of it. And why is that? I have to shut it down. Run this place for over 30 years. Gone just like that. Breaks my heart. I'm sorry to hear that. You don't remember me, do you? Sorry, friend. I, you look familiar, but uh, I, I see a lot of faces. Well, I remember you. You see, the first time I came to this store was to look at some cleats. There was a big soccer tryout at my school, but my family just couldn't afford to buy me a pair. Without cleats, I couldn't try out. Just when I had given up hope, you rushed up to me and handed me the cleats. When I told you I couldn't afford them, you said they were on the house, that all I had to do was pay it forward. Thanks to you, I was able to try out. <laughs> I even made the team. From then on, the entire trajectory of my life changed. I got a full ride scholarship to my dream school to play soccer. I even became the best soccer player in my league. And just last week, after years and years of hard work, I finally got an offer. I signed my first professional contract to play in Europe for $40 million. So you see, if you haven't given me those cleats, I wouldn't have been able to try out and I wouldn't be where I am today. They're just some cleats. Not to me. To me, they're a ticket to a brand new life, which is why... Charlie! What are you doing here? You're supposed to be out of here two hours ago! I know, Mr. Walsh. I'm working on it. My body doesn't move as quickly as it used to. Well, you better hurry up and get out of here or I'm calling a popo. Excuse me, Mr. Welsh. What? 
If you were to sell the store, how much would the price be? Um, $250,000. But nobody wants this place. Are we done here? I'll take it. Are you serious? You heard me. But only on one condition. Anything. You have to apologize for the way you spoke to the new owner, Charlie. What? <laughs> what? That's right. Charlie here is the new owner of this fine establishment. So if you want this check, apologize. Now. <sighs> Charlie. I am sorry. I shouldn't have spoken to you like that. Good. Here's your check. And never show your face here again. My team will reach out to finalize everything. Party on, Charlie. There must be some misunderstanding. No misunderstanding here. This store is yours now. You won't ever have to worry about rent. I can't accept this. It's too much. You have to. This is me. Paying it forward. Huh. You've helped out so many people throughout the years. It's time to let someone help you out for once. Thank you. Well, that actually reminds me. I'm in need of some new cleats. Think you can help me out with that? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah? Got a new shipment in last week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>